Hi, we're Team Xiaoming in Tianyan. The gameplay you just saw is from our first ever game, Neon Terra, a 2D platformer with an interactive storyline. In this game, you will find sprites designed by our very own hands, which range from NPCs to tile sets and many other prefabs and props. Neon Terra features the main character that we can control. He can run, jump off the ground, and jump off walls in the opposite direction. The game starts off in the tutorial section, where the player will learn about the basic controls of the game and the unique mechanic of wall jumping. The story is delivered through visual novel style dialogues and monologues, keeping the player interested. This game also has a variety of mods, in which you can kill for rewards. Boss monsters are equipped with a variety of skills where they will use at random. Players will have to be alert and observe the boss in order to figure out its patterns and defeat them. NPCs play the most important role in this game. Apart from delivering the storyline, they have quests in which players can accept and complete. Shops are also run by the NPCs. Players can access the shops by starting a conversation with the NPCs. Lastly, speaking to certain NPCs will restore your health to full. The world of Neon Terra is filled with many different items, encouraging players to explore the map and be intrigued with every new area. Players are able to pick up items that they find across the maps and access these items through the inventory window. They will be able to see the details of each individual item by clicking on it. While some items can be equipped and others can be consumed, some items are meant to unlock doors and gates. Players can purchase items from shops. Clicking on the individual items will display the item details. Upon purchase, the items will be automatically added into the player's inventory. Players also have access to the quest list window, where they can view the quest that they are currently assigned to do. Clicking on the individual quest slots will reveal the details of the quest. Players can either read the description for hints to progress, or track their current progress. Since this game encourages players to explore, it wouldn't be complete without adding in some secret areas. Secret portals are hidden throughout the maps. Upon reaching the secret areas, players will be able to obtain powerful items to help them progress faster in the game. Players also have the option to save their progress and quit at any point in the game. They will be able to continue from where they left off by loading save data. And with that, our 12 weeks of game development has been summarized. As for the future of Neon Terra, we are not sure if we should continue to develop the game as it would definitely take many more months to complete. Anyways, the journey has been fun. Thanks for watching.